ஹலோ எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை நாலேஜ் ஷேர் ட்ரைனிங் செஷன் விஆர் விஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் ஆன் தி ஆர்எஃப்சி அடாப்டர் யூசேஜ் இன்சைடு தி ஐஃப்ளோ ரைட் வி சார் டூ வீடியோஸ் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி வாட் ஆல் தி பேசிக் கனெக்டிவிட்டி ரிக்குயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் டு எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் பிட்வீன் தி சிபிஐ டு தி டார்கெட் சிஸ்டம் இசேபி so that we can consume the rfc function inside the iflo right so now we are in the third part of the <coughs> training and uh, the exact iflo uh, where we are going to call the uh, rfc a remote function okay okay now let me go to the remote function first okay uh, this is the remote function i am going to call inside the inside the iflo is at cpi r of c 1 right the cpi r of c 1 this is the function i am going to execute from the i flow this is supposed to give me a simple function which does not have any any import okay just it is going to give me a a table of data right so the source is just select two records from the kna table and display back okay this function i am going to execute from the rfc from the i flow so the when i execute it here it is going to show me two records okay the same output i am going to get it in the form of xml uh, inside my <coughs> i flow output okay now just to recap what are the basic requirement for this first i have to go to the cloud connector inside the cloud connector i have to establish the connectivity of of the my target system right that i explained in my previous video how to do this connectivity right for each system these are all my uh, remote function call i am exposing it so that i am going to call this is a cpi rfc1 right you can see that is a cpi rfc1 this is a function i am going to call it okay now okay now once the connect, uh, cloud connector is set up we are going to use the from the cpi the destination has to be established so this rfc400 is my destination pointer to the cloud connector here rfc400 so that from i flow using the uh, using the destination from i flow using this destination i am going to call that rfc uh, function okay now i am going to rfc sorry i flow uh, i will go there i already created one uh, i flow so that i can explain you very quickly so this is my uh, i flow going to look like right hope you can visible so sender is going to send a <coughs> request to the uh, i flow endpoint uh, and uh, then that it will go to a request reply request reply will connect to my sap system via rfc adapter then i will be getting back my output if at all in exception it will throw back me the exception with message okay so uh, the uh, what is the uh, how you are connecting just create a request reply create a receiver connect it via rfc adapter inside the rfc adapter you just give the destination name only nothing else the destination destination name is what you defined in the cpa as a destination the same name you have to give rfc 400 okay the same rfc 400 i am going to give it that's all nothing 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 more complex on that once you establish the connectivity in this uh, cloud connector and the uh, cpa the i flow portion will, will be very easy 
what you have to do is just create a request reply and create a receiver connect it via rfc adapter the rfc adapter the connection name you have to give as the destination name which you are defined in the cpi that's all now what we'll do is we will execute this uh, in the postman and see that okay so what is my name of the connection it is drfc okay now i will go to postman and i will execute this uh, drfc right okay now you must be worrying that when i execute it how this iflow will understand the function name right that is what we are going to send it in the body so first i what i will do is i will without sending the body i will execute it the iflow send it so it is going to give me exception saying that the document fail get document fail that means it is not able to understand what is the rfc i should call so it will give me an rfc exception saying that get document failed get document failed means you did not give me the reference of my uh, the rfc before calling it so that is what we are going to do it now go to so this is the xml format for each rfc function before calling it i will explain you so i will copy this i will copy this okay the format is very simple this is xml tag and this is the end of the this is the start of your rfc function name tag and end function name tag i will put it in the description also you can use the same format okay since i don't have any uh, input parameter uh, no no more parameter inside this just simple call of this function right now i am i am executing it now see in the here i am specifying my function name which function name i should call is it cpi or rfc1 okay so it will go and connect to the cloud connector and it will the rfc for it will connect to the system and from that system it will execute this function okay now i am sending it see now it has written me the data okay xml or what i will do is i'll copy it and i'll paste it here see now it has written me the record customer record okay so two customer record i have got it only items i told you right it is going to return me only two items so there two records we got it that's it it is very simple now uh, how to call the rfc from iflow so the basic requirement or uh, when you go back to iflow when you go back to iflow the um, the the flow is very simple just to call the rfc using the destination name but before the destination name you have to set up the Uh, cloud connector and the uh, destination that has to be set up okay now the uh, what is the format of your input body format of the input body will be like this will be like this for me i don't have any input parameter so it is very simple suppose see this uh, see this standard function app light check availability you can check this in the system it has one e import structure so you have to use the structure as it is like this then you will pass the value inside it then you will call this function inside the i flow then it will return it that's all the format is just note down this format uh, you have to 
call the uh, import parameters as you defined in the function like this and closed by your function name the function name will, will syntax will be like this and opening uh, XML format will be like this okay this is the input input uh, XML for our for our RFC adapter calling okay so you got now you got how uh, the RFC adapter is used inside the iFlow okay thank you thank you so much for watching uh, please do comment if you have any doubt please comment it I will re-explain it okay uh, probably I will try to take another video on the RFC now we have just queried it right select data we will create one more RFC function uh, so that I can update back inside the SAP system that I will try to create another video for that okay please do comment uh, please update your remarks and also please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much